Are you leaving your given abundance to somebody else? And you're probably thinking no, but um, I'm going to cover this. We're going to go into some in-depth um, as to why. I'm probably going to disagree with you. So uh, stay tuned. And also at the end, I'm going to make sure that you've got access to um, an exclusive guide that I believe is going to help you out with this. So before we dive in, though, if we've never met, um, hi, my name is Amy Serka. Super excited that you are uh, joining me here today. So are you leaving your given abundance to somebody else? Are you leaving it on the ground? So um, do you leave a penny on the ground? Do you leave a nickel on the ground? Because if you're going to ignore the penny, you're probably going to ignore the nickel or the dime or the quarter. And it escalates. And wealth is wealth. You just have to start start that. You have to start small to get somewhere. So if you're ignoring the pennies and the nickels, then how are you ever going to get to the dollars and the hundreds of dollars and the thousands of dollars if you're ignoring the simple things that are there in front of you? So make sure to stop and pick up the penny on the ground because that's part of your abundance and it's there for you. And if you're not claiming it, how are you expecting to change something? How are you expecting to get that abundance if you're ignoring it when little little steps like that show up for you? Um... Here's another example for you. Um, have you ever had somebody talk about um, a book a couple different times? Typically, it's a couple different people when I see this happen. So maybe like two to three different people recommend the same book to you, but you don't ever read it. That's your sign, probably, that you should be reading it. So instead of just ignoring like, oh, I've heard about that book before, acknowledge the fact that you need to be reading it and at least put it on a list to read. If not, go check it out, go buy it off of Amazon, however you want to set that up. But make sure to go ahead and take advantage of that. That's your sign that there's abundance for you when you get through to the other side of that. So who knows, that book might have one line in it for you that's going to forever change your life. And if you're ignoring the signs of your abundance that you're supposed to read it, you'll never know. And then let's see here this one I hear a lot. So how many times do we um, hear that, um, or have you said, I know that I've done it, um, I already know that when somebody teaches something, somebody trains on something, but maybe you don't have those results in your life. So do we really know that? If we're not taking action to implement something, how can we say that we know something? Because maybe we know the knowledge. But what's knowledge without implementation? So we got to make sure when people are saying those, saying those things that is being brought to our attention, is being brought to the front of our mind and to our awareness, how much information is out there? And this specific action or this spe specific piece of knowledge is coming to you and then you're going to ignore it? How are you going to change something? How are you going to grab and claim your abundance when you're ignoring the simple things that are in front of you? So... Um, I'm going to challenge myself and you as well to make sure that we stop saying I know that every time a piece of training comes um, your way that we haven't taken action on. So if something comes up again, take action, read the book, and most importantly, don't ignore the penny on the ground because that um, is probably one of the biggest things because you're ignoring your abundance and we need to make sure that we are claiming our abundance whenever we see it no matter how small, because the little things do really add up. It is the slight edge effect, um, and that makes the biggest difference for us on our trip, on our journey towards success. And especially since it's Monday, it's a perfect time to start. We've got a whole new, brand new week for us. So start clean, start fresh, don't ignore your abundance anymore, and make sure that you are claiming that when you see that there in front of you. Um, so, um, that's really all I've got time for today. Hey there, I hope that you found this video helpful and um, valuable. And especially if you did, I've got a special gift that I would love to get to you. And what this is, is I have a financial action guidebook to help you jumpstart your finances quickly. So have you ever hit a goal? or set a financial goal and then didn't hit it and didn't quite know why, like where was the hole? What happened? What went wrong? And, wanna, and if you want to be able to efficiently, efficiently, 
effectively set goals that you can actually attain in your finances so you can move forward in your finances. Because I know if you were taking the time to watch this video, you are somebody who wants to make a change. And I know that you can do that. And this guidebook is going to help you walk through those steps on how you can set those goals that you can actually achieve. So I would love to get this into your hands. And uh, depending on where you're watching this video, it's the link is either going to be located um, in the description below or above somewhere in the description. The link is going to be listed or you can go directly to amycircacom forward slash guidebook. Get your hands on that financial action guidebook to jumpstart your finances quickly. And we'll see you later. Bye.